morning everyone here from a new country for us here in Africa Mozambique right now we're in the capital of Mozambique called Maputo and we came here two days ago from Cape Town on a flight unfortunately it hasn't been a smooth start to our trip like I said we arrived here two days ago so the problem is that when you come here there's two ways to do the visa you can do visa on arrival and also an e-visa which is a visa online before you come here so first we tried to do the e-visa carol did it yeah so i did it like the day before flying filled in all the the things that i needed all the documents everything and in the end it showed me a message saying that it could take up to five working days to have the visa processed and granted and we didn't think it was a problem because uh, we knew that the uh, visa on arrival was also an option so we just decided to go for that and then we flew here and we arrived at the airport at the immigration uh, office and then we started getting the visa on arrival yeah so the visa on arrival part was going fine um, it was going very slow there was a lot of people that seemed to be having issues and stuff but ours was fine we just gave them the documents they started doing it then we did the payment on card and then they told us that in the system there was a conflict because you had the e-visa one in our name and now this new one so for some reason they said because there was both of them they weren't able to give us the visa that they put in your passport and they said the only way was to cancel the e-visa application which we're not able to do and they said they're not able to do it and the person that could do it was not there it was kind of late at night so they said the only option was for them to hold our passports so right now we don't actually even have our passports which is a terrible idea right to go into a country and not have your main form of identification but they gave us like some other kind of visa paper and then some other document with all our passport info and it was like stamped by them so that's one of the situations right now and they said for us to go back in two days for some reason which is today to the airport and get our passports back so that's what we're about to do soon but then we saw something else that seems like we possibly got scammed so later when I was there I checked the receipt that they gave us for the the visa price right and it showed a hundred dollars per person but all the signs there and online say that it's fifty dollars per person nowhere says anything about it being a hundred dollars so I first asked one lady why it was a hundred dollars and she just said like oh one second and then disappeared like she didn't even talk to me but I waited and then I approached her again like 15 minutes later when she appeared and this time she said that the $50 one is a single entry tourist visa and she said that we're not doing that we're going to be traveling around multiple entries and I told her I was like we're not doing multiple entries there's a multiple entry visa where you can go out of the country and back in multiple times that's what it is I said we're just here on a single entry visa and we had told them our itinerary we had to show all the accommodations that, that we had booked and everything so they knew that we were not going to leave the country and enter again they knew it was just a one-time entry and then it got even weirder because since the lady saw her, I wasn't really accepting it and literally just pointing at the signs they have there with the $50 she passed me on to her supervisor and then her supervisor was way more grumpy and she said a completely different story so she just said that the $50 visa doesn't exist anymore nobody can have it and that her supervisor said it has to be the $100 one now and she couldn't provide any documentation nothing with the prices I even said why does everything online say that it's fifty dollars and why does your sign it's like a big sign behind them saying fifty dollars I was like why does that sign say that and she was like oh they're all outdated they're gonna be updated later which makes no sense right you don't do something like this with visas and not be updated anywhere and you're just charging double the price too that's quite a, a price hike yeah so that, that was our first like few seconds in the airport and this was all going on for like four hours until they finally gave us the papers so we could leave the airport and then we entered in contact with the embassy yeah the Brazilian embassy uh, when everything was going on I searched online to make sure there was a Brazilian embassy here because if anything goes wrong and I don't if they don't give my, my passport back I can get another passport at the embassy so I felt a bit more relaxed about that and I contacted them at their emergency number and they said that 
they don't uh, agree on those type of uh, uh, procedures but because you're not supposed to take somebody's passport and leave them uh, without their passports but they said that at the same time maybe that was the best option because uh, if they didn't do that we could be deported or just uh, de detained at the immigration office and yeah that's not what we wanted but they said that um, maybe when we go back to get the passport the immigration people might ask for a fee which they didn't mention it like that, but it seemed like a bribe. Yeah, because the embassy basically said if they ask for money to enter in contact with the embassy and not pay it. We're going to the airport now. Uh, we're hoping that they're not going to try and bribe us to give the passports back. And we'll let you know at the airport. The adventure continues. We're here at Maputo Airport. Been here for two hours now, so they're still un unable to resolve our issue. There's only us there in the immigration part, just us two. No flights have arrived or anything. And a strange thing is that today the e visas went through. Carol's was approved, and mine wasn't approved, it was rejected. And it says because we didn't have proof of the accommodation, even though we provided the same thing. So basically what they're trying to do now is process your e-visa since it was approved. Yeah. And mine, they're just doing the visa on arrival from fresh. Yeah, from scratch. And I think they are having issues with the payment because uh, we, we already paid. So they need to put some information on the system to just have a proof that we paid already. I think that's the problem right now and we're just waiting, we don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, so we ended up coming to the cafe, so I got a chocolate croissant and this coffee here is called uh, Galão, big coffee, and these are Portuguese I think. Yeah, pastel de natas e this one. and, and uh, pastel de bacalhau, which is a pot fish. What's in the pastel de natas? It's uh, like cream, it's a sweet thing and also with egg so you cannot have it. It's yeah. almost like raw egg. And all that was 990 meticais, that's what their money's called. So we're gonna finish this up and then hopefully we don't have to spend many more hours here. Been too many already. And so what a complete nightmare. It is 5 p.m. right now and we got here at 10 a.m. So basically the entire day. So in the last scenes when we were eating, uh, an officer came out saying that we had to go back to continue with the process. And then we got there and they just told us to wait. So they didn't continue with anything. We were like drinking quickly, eating all the food quickly and then once again waiting so yeah we ended up waiting for around like two or three hours and then they kept saying that the system was slow and that at one point the scanner was broken so they couldn't scan our documents all this weird stuff and in the meantime flights were arriving with other people and even though it was taking a while for them they were all going through so they just started blaming like equipment so then we started thinking are they just trying to like wear us out tire us out so that we offer money, offer some sort of bribe, we didn't understand. And then when I asked them again, they said at one point, oh, you might actually have to pay for the visa again. And I was like, no way, we've already paid 100 each. And they were like, yeah, but if we do in the process again, you might have to pay again. Which makes no sense, because also mine wasn't even approved, my visa. So how do you pay for a visa that you never even received? And Carol's had already gone through though, the e-visa one. Yeah, the e-visa application went through and 
when she said that I was I, I started getting a bit uh, upset more upset and I said uh, no I'm not gonna pay we're not gonna pay anything more and I'm, I'm gonna call the embassy and she said oh okay let's wait let's wait and see so maybe that's when they realize that we're not gonna give any money I don't know yeah so basically I don't know maybe like 40 minutes to an hour after that they finally gave us our passports with the, the visa in there so I think that was it. I think when they saw that we weren't going to pay, yeah, I'm just glad we're out of here. But unfortunately, they've completely ruined our trip in Maputo because this was the day we were supposed to be exploring here. And since it's 5 p.m., it gets dark in an hour's time. So yeah, completely ruined it. And yeah, just the worst arrival ever. Just a completely oh. horrible experience. And you forgot to mention that we confirmed with the embassy that the, the the visa was supposed to cost fifty dollars so we paid a hundred dollars more than that also the mozambique embassy confirmed yeah in brazil they confirmed yeah yeah so we've been traveling five years this was our 50th country like by absolutely miles the worst arrival ever so we actually downloaded like a uh, their own local uber app what's it called yango yango so even the day we arrived, we got completely screwed by the taxi driver too, because he charged us like thousand, which is fifteen dollars. Yeah, Mitikais. I had read before that it was supposed to cost five hundred. I thought like speaking Portuguese it would be better, but I don't know. Maybe they think all Brazilians are rich, or I don't know why. But uh, on this app, it's not even five hundred. It's like two hundred fifty. So yeah, we paid four times, four times the price the other day. Awesome beginning to the trip. So we're back at the area that we're stayed in called Polana which is kind of like the touristy area come to a restaurant called Piri Piri it's supposed to be one of the famous ones and I think I'm gonna get this Shamusas de Carne 210 and also a half chicken half frango 595 what are you getting? fish or? yes um, fish fillet grilled fish fillet 790 so these shamosas are interesting because it's basically a samosa, an Indian chicken samosa. So many Indian workers were brought here and lived here during the Portuguese colonization and they brought the food with them. Not sure if it's spicy like the Indian ones though. Oh yeah, it is a bit. It's like identical actually, the taste. It is a samosa. And the portions are great at this restaurant. We actually knew that already because we ate here yesterday. So I ordered this exact dish. It actually looks like a Brazilian style dish, the layout. Yours is a nice layout too. Yeah, the fish is absolutely delicious, really good. Yeah, my chicken's really good too. It actually tastes like the Brazilian kind of chicken. Very similar. So we just went to a little store to get some snacks for a bus ride that we're going to be doing tomorrow, hopefully in the next video. And we're also getting some money out. What's the max? 5,000. Okay. Was that the same on the other ones? Yes. And we don't pay any fee, at least for our card, which is good. Our apartment now which is right in front of that restaurant Piri Piri so we're staying in a really good area and this is $43 a night which seems to be pretty good because you're gonna see how big this place is so we chose this bedroom we're just packing now getting ready for the trip tomorrow so it comes with a bathroom and shower the lights not working at the moment and then through here there is another bathroom 
So we've been using this one since it has a light. And then there's another bedroom through this way. And then here is the main living room. Really big too. Got another big TV here. And then there's a third bedroom. So it's a kind of place for a big family really. Not just for two people. And then also a pretty massive kitchen. We ended up not using the, the kitchen at this place and it comes with a washing machine so we were able to do some laundry that was good. It's kind of dark now so you can't really see outside, just other apartment buildings. So that's going to be it for this one. Can't really believe that we weren't able to do anything that we had planned. We had planned so much stuff, we were going to go to like a Portuguese fort and we are also going to go to a market, central market, show a beach nearby. I think the worst part was actually not the money for us anyway i think it was more just the fact that we ended up not being able to explore anything of maputo it's kind of unbelievable that that's going on at the main airport though so we've obviously traveled to some like sketchy countries countries that are known to be pretty corrupt where there's lots of poverty lots of issues but usually if there's one safe place it's the airport especially the main airport of the capital since there's just so much like uh, security, police, things like that. Mainly just like outside the airport if you run into like the taxi drivers then you'll get scammed but within usually like that's such a serious place and you don't encounter these things. We've mainly only encountered it on like border crossings where it's just a small group of people in the middle of nowhere, land borders I mean. But the main reason that we came to Mozambique was for the beaches and that's where we're going to be going tomorrow to a place called Tofu and then after that hopefully a place called Vilanculus. So yeah I just hope everything goes to plan now. I think we just met a bad bunch of people and it kind of makes sense that they said that we had to come back today and not yesterday because I think yesterday was a different shift and they said that they had to resolve it specifically. Which makes no sense, right? I mean, anyone messing with uh, the system should know how to resolve it. So I think it's just their little mafia group wanted to try and scam us. <laughs> so it's unfortunate that this video wasn't more exciting, that we couldn't go out exploring, telling you about the place, but obviously it wasn't in our control. And I'll still post this anyway, just to show the bad things that can happen when traveling can't just only show the good right so yeah these things do happen too so stay tuned for the next beach videos hopefully it really is amazing and we'll see you in that video